Welcome to Thy History Geek. My name is Josh. In our first episode of People of the Past, we're going to look at a woman who made her living cooking up delicious dishes that could be said were to die for. Now, let's talk about Mary Mallon. Mary Mallon was born on September 23, 1869, in Cookstown, Ireland. Now, the irony that she was born in Cookstown is not lost on me. She immigrated to the United States in the mid-1880s and took jobs as a cook to families living in New York City area. From 1900 to 1907, the story was always the same. Mary would work for a family, the family would get very ill, and Mary would move along to find another family. The illness these families had in common was typhoid. Of the first eight families that she worked for, seven of the families became ill with typhoid. One of the family members even died from the illness. In late 1906, one of the families hired a typhoid researcher named George Soper to investigate what was going on, and Soper's findings pointed to Mary Mallon as the prime suspect. But Mary refused to provide a urine or stool sample to be tested. With plenty of evidence against Mallon, in 1907, physician Sarah Josephine Baker, along with several other police officers, were sent by the New York City Health Department to take Mary Mallon into custody. It was 1908, where while in quarantine, that Mary Mallon would become what we know her as today, Typhoid Mary. She was given this name by the Journal of American Medical Association. In quarantine, Mary was very resistant to the idea that she was the one spreading the disease. She also was adamant that she did not need to wash her hands, and she was unwilling to give urine or stool samples. The doctors even wanted to remove her gallbladder, feeling that the disease was in her gallbladder that she was spreading, but she would not have her gallbladder removed. Finally, though, in time, she agreed to sign a sworn affidavit stating that she would never work in the cooking industry again, and she was released from quarantine on February 19, 1910, after some three years. Now, after her release from quarantine, Mary worked as a laundress for several years, but the money was not as good as her previous profession, and she soon grew tired of the work. Mary then decided to change her name from Mary Mallon to Mary Brown and returned to her former occupation, even though she promised and signed that she never would. Although the name change may have made her appear to be a different person, the results were the exact same. Everywhere that Mary went, typhoid came following after. In 1915, Mary was working in the kitchen of the Sloan Hospital for Women in New York City when there was a typhoid outbreak. 25 people were infected and two people died. She left the job, but the police in time caught up with her and she was returned to quarantine on March 27, 1915. Mary would spend the remainder of her life in quarantine. She died on November 11, 1938, at the age of 69. After her passing, her remains were cremated and buried at the St. Raymond Cemetery in the Bronx at New York, in New York. Now, while only three deaths from typhoid spread or, or could be confirmed that they were spread by Mary, because of the times that she moved around from family to family and the aliases that she would use, it's estimated that she may be responsible for many more deaths, possibly in the double digits. While Mary Mallon or Typhoid Mary may be the most well-known carrier of typhoid in history, she is far from the only one. And it's only relatively recently that researchers are starting to put together how diseases can spread through healthy human carriers. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of People of the Past. 
If you did, it would mean the world to me if you leave a like on the video. Also, if you want to see more of these, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And with that, I'm going to leave this episode with a quote from American writer Libba Bray. I'm from the health department. You've heard of Typhoid Mary. This fella's got enough typhoid to start his own colony. Thanks for watching.